In this Caden Live tutorial, I will show you how to enhance the colours in a video clip. I've assumed you have a basic knowledge of editing in Caden Live. I've put a couple of links to my beginner's tutorials in the description below this video for those that don't. You can also find other tutorials in my playlists. OK, well, here's a video clip of a train. Um, I don't know what train it is, but anyway, it's relevant. And Although the colours aren't too bad, it's looking possibly a bit washed out. So, what I'm going to do first of all, um, because there is a sort of a couple of ways you can do this, I'm just going to edit this clip so that um, it's suitable for what I want to show you. So, I'm just going to drag this along because I don't want this chap here coming across. In fact, I'll kill the sound as well and put the start point there and we'll just drag this along sorry about this I should have set it up earlier I will go start there okay and for the purposes of this tutorial I'm just going to drag this down and put it actually in track 2 drag it to the beginning so it's actually at the end point now there's lots of different ways you can uh, alter the colour in Caden Live on or any other video editor one of the easiest ways um, in Caden Live is actually if you come to your um, um, transitions box uh, sorry effects box and left click on the little arrow next to colour you should hopefully see something called Technicolor. Just drag this and put it over your video clip. And a presto, you've got a Technicolor video um, sort of effect. Now you can adjust this up here, but to be honest with you, it's not that easy. You end up getting lost. You, or you can end up, mind you, that looks pretty good actually. No, um, so let's just reset this up here. I mean, if you're happy with the effect that the Technicolor video gives you, that's fine, leave it at that and just render your video. However, if you want to adjust it a bit, make sure your clips at this in point and just drag your clip back in you don't really need to uh, click on it here but anyway and again bring it into the end point now if you right click on the top clip and next to add transition left click on composite you can't see it but there is a little track here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just increase the view so you can see it a bit better left click on the yellow band that says composite and then to the right or the left depends where it appears just drag it over using your left mouse over that edge you'll see a sort of dot with a couple of arrows on it take it right over so that it snaps to the end of the two clips Now in this box here where it says opacity, what you can do is you can reduce the transparency of the top clip. And that gives you a little bit more control over the colour so you can go right back to the original and just tweak it back until you get something which you're sort of happy with. So let's just take this back to I don't know, 20%. It's looking a little bit better. Just play this through, it's not the most stable of videos, but yeah, that's looking pretty good. And that is basically one way of improving the colour or enhancing the colour on a video clip. There are other ways, but it's quite a simple way, this, and it seems to work for me when I've been bothered doing it. Um, 
And that's that, there's not much else I can say. If you've never used Caden Life before, if you're wondering why there's a P up here, I always work with proxy clips, I'm not going to go into that. Like I said, I've left some links in the description below this video. Um, rendering, again, I'm not going to go into that because the longer these videos seem to look to people, they don't want to watch them, so we'll leave it at that. Hopefully, this helps somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.